this is Laura GB and in this video we're looking at the relative date slicer in Power BI. So here we are in a report, got a couple of visuals and a couple of cards at the top there showing some figures. But this data is over a couple of years and we want to be able to slice it down into a recent period. So what we're going to do is we're going to add a slicer Let's just resize it a little bit. Okay, and we're going to, from my calendar table, I'm going to add date. Now, dates by default always come up with a between slicer. And if we come up into the top right hand corner of this slicer and click the drop down arrow, you'll see all the different options for the different slicers you can pick. So we're going to go for the relative date slicer. And there you are, it changes into a couple of drop downs and a text input. So the first drop down is showing us last one, and then the select is pick a unit. So if we come into here, we can go in the last day. And there's no data, that's today. We haven't got our sales data yet. We can go for weeks. So this shows you from today going backwards up to seven days. So if we go, if we go for cal week's calendar, it's showing you the 17th to the 23rd. So the last complete week. And months does a similar thing. So we go from the 30th of April through to the 29th of May. But month's calendar will give you the whole of April because that was the last complete month. So couple of options left to have a quick look at. Under formatting, there is a date range. Okay, so I'm just going to tweak this back to being the last one week. So it shows at the moment 23rd to the 29th includes today. Today didn't have any sales yet or not in the database anyway. So on the date range, we're going to turn off the include today. And you'll see the date range goes back by one day. So it's gone from now the 22nd of May to the 28th of May. Another adjustment we can do is you can pick what your anchor date is. So you might want to be showing this fixed on an end of year, maybe. So if I go back to, let's say, the end, the end of March, so the 31st of March you now see that the last one week goes from the 24th of March to the 30th of March. If we go back to the month, it just shows us March. So that is turning off today and the anchor date changing that. Let's have a look at the relative date filter in Power BI. If you haven't already, Please press subscribe. Take care now.